gorgeous round fruit and they are a fruit not a vegetable because they contain the seeds um, coming up to bonfire night or Halloween or you know even just through the whole of the autumn pumpkins are in season um, if they're not in season then we can use this recipe and use butternut squash which is in season all year anyway so this is going to be pumpkin soup with um, what I call bonfire bread it's basically a different take on um, soda bread, which is just the easiest bread to cook. No yeast, no proving time, you just put everything in the bowl, mix it up, dollops in the oven, and the soup and your bread will be ready within about half an hour. So let's get cooking. Once you've cut the pumpkin into wedges, then just give it a really good brush all over with some olive oil, and then season it with some salt and pepper, then pop that in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes, turning it so that both of the cut sides brown. The things that we're going to need in our pumpkin soup are um, red onions, a couple of red onions, and some carrots. Now these are purple carrots. I managed to get them today, they're in season. And when you chop through them, in the middle, they're really funky that they've got like their purpley red on the outside and in the middle they're orange. I mean, if that isn't a really, really good way of encouraging your children to um, try carrots, then what is? And they're beautifully sweet as well. So we're gonna just chop those roughly, pop them in a pan with the onions, uh, with a knob of butter on um, a low heat for about 20 minutes just to soften and saute, by which point the pumpkin will probably be ready and out of the oven. When you're chopping any kind of fruit and vegetables, make sure you keep your fingers and your thumbs well out of the way. Preferably use the bridge method, but totally focus on what you're doing. That's the bridge method. Totally focus on what you're doing. And here's me saying this, chopping the onion while talking to you guys. How sensible is that? So two carrots and two red onions. You can use normal orange carrots you can use normal white onions. Now by sautéing the carrots and the onions, I want them to soften. I don't want them coloured and I don't want them browning, so you need to turn your heat very, very low. Give those a stir to coat them in the butter and then turn your heat right down. I'm doing this on the simmering plate of the arga, but I'm going to move the pan so it's just on the edge so it's not actually taking up too much heat once they start going in. And they should take around about 20 minutes. So after 25, 30 minutes, your pumpkin should be slightly golden and quite soft. You can either leave it to cool, or if you want to cook your soup straight away, then you need to take the skin off. Just be careful because it will be very, very hot, roughly chopped pop that into the pan with the carrots and the onion. Also need into there 200 ml of milk and vegetable stock. I'm starting off with 500 ml in there. Add a good pinch of nutmeg, put the lid on and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Oh, that sounds amazing. And it's also timed beautifully with um, your soda bread coming out of the oven. We can take that off the heat and then use a stick blender or a liquidizer or a food processor, anything that you really have to hand, uh, just to blend that up quite smoothly. So remember, taste your food, always taste it to make sure that it's got enough seasoning. Be careful, it's gonna be hot. Oh, that's lovely. 
So there we go. We've got some gorgeous soup with some really, really dead easy soda bread. Now, the advantage with this soup is that you can pad it out. You could cook up some, um, some rice, steam some rice, add some rice into it and make it much more of a substantial meal. Um, you could put some pasta into it or some little shapes and make it more of a pasta sauce, especially if you're you know, cooking these for children as well. Um, I've got a son who really doesn't like soup, so he would eat this, but only if it was thicker um, and it had some macaroni in it or it was served over some, um, some rice or I served it with bread fingers so he could dunk, then he'd eat it, but he wouldn't just eat soup. However, my husband was, and seeing, seeing as he's working from home today, I think he's probably gonna get a treat for lunch. Yeah. Enjoy.